Hey guys, today we're gonna be talking about 10 plants that I'm loving and I think that you would also love. For the most part, <laughs> they're not super expensive and we'll get to that later, but they're also really easy to care for and they just grow so quickly as well which is why I love them. So these are not gonna be in any particular order except for the last one and you'll see why. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I said this was gonna be in no particular order but I feel like I should start off with this one right here. This plant is usually sitting on that bench in my videos in the background and I always get questions like oh my gosh what is that plant because look at it it's so pretty and I feel like you don't really see it often um, it looks prettier when all the leaves are facing one direction but I've been mo moving it around a lot so they're kind of crazy right now but this is a really pretty plant and it's called a philodendron green emerald it is so easy to take care of when I bought it it was under $40 I bought it in person though. I just happened upon it. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen this plant before. I saw it, I was like, what is that plant? And I feel like it was around $30, but I found it at an Armstrong, not anywhere near my house. It was on a day where I was doing like a plant tour and the Armstrong was a dud. So I don't think I filmed it, but I found this gem there and I just bought it because it's so pretty and it can live in like lower light areas which is where i have mine i'm sorry about that squeaking it's windy and i don't know if you can hear it but there is a branch scratching on my window but anyway <laughs> so um i keep this in like a really really low light situation like it does not get a lot of light at all it used to get a tiny bit of east east facing of eastern window sunlight or whatever but now it pretty much survives off of like the ambience of a gl grow light. <laughs> so yeah, you can see the upper leaves are much smaller. Like the ones that are barely coming out are a lot smaller. But imagine if this got a ton of light, like all of the leaves would be giant. And it's so nice. Like it doesn't have a stake and it's still growing upwards, which I love because as you'll see, I have a problem with staking my plants. So there we go, philodendron, green emerald, so pretty, I love it. And I know a lot of you guys love it too, so that's the name of it. So this is my next plant, and I recently got this one. It is a variegated African violet, and I had been, I love African violets. I had been waiting to find a variegated one for like sale, for a dollar at like Lowe's or something. But I saw this one at a green thumb nursery for five or six dollars and I was like, you know, maybe I should pay that 500% up, <laughs> up charge for these beautiful leaves. I mean, look at them. I wish the flowers didn't look like this because like, don't get me wrong, they're really pretty flowers, but this is how the flowers look like on my really basic African violets, but oh. I'm not really here for the flowers. I'm here for the foliage, baby. Ugh. I'm always here for the foliage. Some plants I like better without flowers, like anthuriums. I don't like how they look with flowers, but that's besides the point. Look at this beautiful plant. I love it. And as you know, African violet, well, I don't know, maybe you don't know, but African violets are very easy to take care of. Just water them. Don't let their leaves get wet and keep them under a grow light or somewhere and they grow so nicely. I'm worried honestly about keeping this one under a grow light because I want it to keep its variegation and I don't think my grow lights are strong enough to help this plant keep its variegation. So I'm probably gonna have to find like a window to put it in but it's just so good. It's so good. So there we go, African Violet. This is the next plant which is a philodendron pedatum and I feel like this is kind of a dupe <laughs> for a Florida ghost. It looks a lot like a Florida ghost but you don't really get that new mint green color when the leaves first come out. I think on a Florida ghost it changes to this green anyways so just 
whatever. The leaves might be differently shaped, but I think it's pretty close. And this one grows really quickly. Like, I'm gonna need to stake this one soon. Um, as you can see, the sun faces this way, but I've been rotating it, so these new leaves are coming in at weird angles. Visibly, being able to see plants grow, just, I love it. It's one of my favorite parts about having plants. It's growing so big. Growing so big and so healthy. I love it so much. And yeah, that's the philodendron, oop, <laughs> philodendron pedatum, which, like I said, needs to be staked soon. Next up is this Schlum, Schlumberga cactus. So this is in the same, kind of like similar to a Thanksgiving cactus or an Easter cactus, but this is more uncommon than those cacti. And this is a Christmas cactus. A lot of times people get confused because they think they're buying a Christmas cactus when they're actually buying a spring cactus or a Thanksgiving cactus because a lot of times big box stores and just nurseries in general always label them wrong but this one is for sure a Christmas cactus. I had to buy it online. I've never seen one in store. It wasn't really expensive though and obviously I thought it was worth it. It recently bloomed. It's it's just coming to the end of its blooming. I should have filmed this earlier so you could see the full spectacularness of all of the flowers but yeah these flowers I need to take off especially these ones they're so pretty though but i need to take them off because they're done um when my thanksgiving cactus and these cactus kind of like overlapped in their blooming times and i would always <laughs> like we have a fountain in our backyard where bees always go to drink so i would always put my cacti there near the bees hoping they would like pollinate it or something i don't know what i was hoping for but i just wanted to let the bees you know, enjoy the flowers. <laughs> so there you go. This, as you guys will probably recognize, is a Begonia YDI. And my gosh, these polka dots, they're kind of like reflective a little bit. Like, I don't know what the word is, but when, you know, at nighttime, if you're wearing like one of those vests, I think it's a reflective vest and the cars can see you. These dots, these polka dots are like that. I don't know if I'll be able to capture it on camera. I sure hope I can because you guys deserve to see it. But oh, it looks so good. And it's been growing a lot recently, which is why I've been loving it so much. Like I said, I love seeing my plants grow and thrive, except for this leaf. We don't look at this leaf. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really loving this plant. I'm gonna have to put it into a bigger pot soon and it's, it's looking so good. I know a lot of people love this begonia and it's for a good reason and they're becoming a lot more common now. I remember it used to be like not easy to find but now, well at least where I live, I've seen them at Green Thumbs often and they're only like $10 for this size which is super great. They used to be really expensive and hard to find, even in person. Um, and whenever I see it, I always post it on my Insta stories. You can follow me over there. I don't really post stuff, but I like chatting with you guys. So we got these, so pretty. Next up is the Monstera Siltipicana. And this is just literally a long vine. It already made its way down to the bottom again. I have it like zigzagging, so it's already at the bottom again, about to make its way back up. So yeah, this is literally just a long vine and I need to get a moss pole for it because ugh, it would do so great on a moss pole. But look how pretty the leaves are. It's just, oh, they have these like such a pretty like silvery color and I love the texture of the leaves. That's what really gets me. And as the leaves kind of climb up the pool, they get bigger. So I want some really big leaves out of this. So pretty, so easy to take care of. I'm obsessed with how these leaves look. Oh my goodness. Next up is this plant right here, which does look really crazy on camera. I'll have close-ups so you can see the pillowy leaves. Oh my gosh, they just look so luscious and fluffy. I don't know how to explain it. They just 
are so scrumptious. These leaves are so freaking scrumptious. This is a an Adansonii, but it's not just any Adansonii. It's a Laniata. And I literally didn't even know this plant existed until I bought this one and I saw it at a nursery. And oh, I've literally been obsessed with this plant. I cannot stop looking at its delicious leaves. I don't know why they're just they literally look so pillowy. I think it's because of the, I don't know, just the way the leaf is formed. It just gets me every single time. Highly recommend you get one if you can. Oh my gosh, because it's just so, so good. I really hope you guys can see it, how beautiful it is. It also grows pretty quickly. As you can see, it's getting pretty long. I've been propagating this baby like crazy <laughs> because I want more. I want more of this. Now this is something you guys gotta get behind, especially if you don't like watering plants often and you like to kind of just sit back and look at them being all pretty, but you don't really want to take the time to water them. I don't know. Um, this is a Hoya Hindu rump. Oh my gosh, I can't explain to you my love for these chunky, chunky vines. Oh, look at them. They're just like so chunky. That's why I love them. And I love the longer the vines get, like oh, when they're just draping. When this thing gets even longer, I'm going to I'm going to die. It's going to be the best thing ever. The only thing is I'm sad that this part is missing <laughs> missing some leaves because I like the chunk to be complete. They kind of are like nerds ropes a little bit and they're so easy to take care of. It's insane. I love this plant. Look at it. Oh my gosh, look at the chunk. I, I don't even know what to say other than look at these chunky vines. They're so thick and juicy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's move on. Let's, let's move on from this beautiful, beautiful baby. This next one is not a plant that I would like think to love like fall in love with because i'm a foliage type of gal like i like aeroids i like fluffy leaves and soft greenery this is a dashidia which is not soft luscious greenery these are thick turgid leaves this is a watermelon dishidia and they kind of look like little beetles, which I think is so, so, so cute. For the whole entire like beginning times that I had this plant, I kept it in a humidity dome, which really made it explode with growth. It literally exploded with growth. This kind of looked bare before, but now it is really full and has been promoted to plants that I'm loving and oh it's just so cute um in my opinion it doesn't really come across to me as looking like a watermelon as much as you know as much as it's looking like little beetles but I still love it I have fallen for this plant and I'm gonna be honest I probably attribute a lot of that to its explosion of growth because this plant looks so cute especially when it's really full and luscious. And last but not least, I've been loving these variegated string parts, which I said that one of these plants is not gonna be really budget friendly, but oh, this one specifically has an entire strand of ghost leaves and they're so pretty because they still have like those little indentations string of hearts have. They still have that same like texture and it's just so stunning. When I saw it, I literally could not stop laughing because it made me so happy. <laughs> I never knew I could love one single strand of leaves so much. This plant is also really easy to care for. It has the most beautiful coloring ever. It's white and pink and green, and it's just like Valentine's Day vibes. And it's also a really amazing plant that I love to watch grow. Like, I love watching String of Hearts grow. I don't know what it is, but they're one of my favorite plants to watch grow. I'm going to give away some cuttings. I'm going to give away six cuttings to six people because, you know, it's like cute. It's like Valentine's vibes. And like, who doesn't love this plant? If you want to enter, you just got to comment down below and then you can get a cutting of these. 
Um, I'll either make like a community post to announce the winners or I'll reply to your comment. I don't know yet, so we'll see, but oh, so pretty. Like they have such juicy leaves and it really loves a west facing window. That's how you get all this coloring. It also doesn't need to be watered too often, so definitely love this guy, but yeah. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can leave a comment down below to let me know your favorite plants or just to enter the giveaway. Whatever's fine, but I would really love to hear your favorite plants too. The plants you've been loving specifically since it's almost Valentine's Day and it's cute. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!